Hello everyone, welcome to Retarget Common YouTube channel. I am Amod and this will be another video in this Azure Framework playlist. So in the last video, I have created a test here. So if you see this test case, which is running fine, but here what is the problem or what are the problems we can identify? First thing we need to see here that we have hard coded our endpoint. Okay. So in real time, you might have some different environments like for QA or for dev or for staging or pre or any other environment. So we cannot hard code our API endpoints like this. We need to have a mechanism so that we can run in any environment. Maybe if it, this endpoint belongs to QA, so maybe the endpoint might be QA API for Dave, it might be Dave API. Okay. So we need to have some mechanism in which we can run our test case or scripts for any environment. First disadvantage we can see here. Second, you can see we have hard coded the body like this. If you see, uh, if you remember in the last video, when I did on this code, I was getting the error. Why? Because this ID was already registered for different airlines. Okay. So I should have some way or some mechanism where I can create the body dynamically, or at least we should give some options to end users so that they can pass their own data. This, this is the second uh, disadvantage we can see. Third point, you can see how many chaining methods we have called here, right? So this is always not possible for every anyone to remember. It is always not good to recall all these steps again and again or rewrite the same method chaining again and again. So we should have some way where I just need to pass which call and to perform and to pass the data input data, which might be your base URI or it might be your payload or some headers kind of thing. Okay. But there's no need to write all these steps again and again for the person who is automating the API. Okay. Whenever we are developing framework, framework means framework should give the features which can be used by them to write or to automate their API easily. Again, if you see here, I am printing everything. So in real time, if you have authentication to your APIs and it is always not good to print those sensitive details on console or if you using any report because you are sharing those sensitive information with others whoever will access on the report because management team doesn't require the access code or authentication token. They just need to see the pass fail count. We have listed some points here. Like we are repeating the code. Suppose if I want to do again post code. So again, I need to repeat the same step. So we have identified some problems. So we cannot solve all the problems in one video, but let's start with the first problem here. So the first problem I talked here, like we are repeating these steps. Obviously we'll repeat if we want to do another post call and we also need to remember it. So what we can do? So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to in the main package, not under the test main package, all the framework or reusable codes methods should be part of your main so that if you try to share this framework with others, so you just remove this test and they can use the main. Okay. And they will create their own test case under the test package we should use the framework code inside the main. So let me create a new package here and I will name it as utils. Inside this, I'm going to have a new class and maybe I can name this as rest utils. Why rest utils? Because in this class, I want to have all those methods or utilities which can be used to call list APIs. We'll see one by one. So since this project is a Git project now, so whenever you we are adding a new file, it will always ask whether you want to add the new file to Git or not. Yeah, I want to add. So just click it on add or check this don't ask again and simply click on add. So from next time it will not ask you to add in Git or not. Okay. So let me maximize this one so that you can view this properly. So if you see this test cases here for this, this test case, we didn't require any authentication. We are not passing any extra header kind of thing. So what I can do, I can have one method, maybe public. And since I'm creating it as a utility, so I can use static because there will be no need to create an object of it. You can directly call it. Okay. Using the class name. So public static 
and uh, let me put void and then i will call it like perform post okay so perform post so to perform a post what are things we required maybe we required the endpoint so let me add endpoint what then i required i may require the payload okay so let me because you cannot restrict the user to pass the payload only as a json file or a pojo or something right so here what i am thinking okay let's create a method where it will allow user to pass a string as well so what i'm going to do a string request payload make sure that you give the proper name then what other things are required so just to extend it more maybe we need to pass some extra headers okay so instead of passing one header one header or two headers we can have a map okay map string string and it will be headers okay if you want to pass multiple headers so you can pass create a map and you can pass that if you want to add only one header so you can uh, pass one header but just to support multiple scenarios where you whether you want to pass zero or you want to pass one or you, pa you want to pass more than one then map will be suitable for it okay and the i think that's enough okay to perform a post request we require at least three things like endpoint request payload and headers so what i'm going to do let me copy this code and paste it here so instead of hard coding this what i will do i will just spam attach with the endpoint so content type will be json and here it will be remove and body will be head uh, sorry request payload since i am i am accepting the headers as well and this method should support whether you have headers or no i will simply going to have a new method new chaining method like headers and you can see we have a overloaded method here headers which accept the a map since i need to means if someone wants to perform the post okay post it but there will be some output right it might be some response it might be some error okay so whatever it is let's return it okay if the call is successful obviously to return me the response so i will add a return statement and instead of void i will put the response so now let's use this method in the airline test so instead of writing this code again and again but before that let me do one thing i'll create some variables like a string end point don't worry i will replace everything but slowly slowly step by step so i created one variable i stored it here then i created one string it will be payload and here i am going to have this okay and instead of writing this code again and again what i will do i will simply call rest utils dot perform post where i need to pass the endpoint i need to pass what and to pass the payload and i need to pass i don't need to pass any extra address. so what i need to do i simply pass one empty map okay let me run this program and let's see whether it works or not so but before that what i want to do i will just change the number again so that my test case should pass so here you can see test cases passed this time and it is printing the response as well and assertion is also passed okay so we have reduced our code little bit right and also i can see you that we created one method as part of our framework because anyone can use this method if they want to pass these three things without any authentication they just need to pass three things automatically this method will run and they will it will do the post call and it will give you the response and you can do whatever person you want to do okay eg so in this video we have done this much in the next video i will show you that how can we handle the payload more properly 
and so that any one can modify or it will be auto generated so we will learn that in next video if you have any doubt please comment on this video if you really like my videos please like comment subscribe and share with others thank you everyone